right, well, good morning, folks. Welcome to Cartoon Shores. It's a little bit extra early. <laughs> I think it's like, I guess 4.20. <laughs> I think it's 4.20 exactly. <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah, I just felt like getting up early and uh, getting a head start on this project. So last two videos didn't have audio. And um, so I'm going to do time lapses of those and release them with maybe, maybe a little bit of a commentary over top of them. Um, I don't know when I'll have the time to do it, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, but anyway, you can see the benefit of those first two projects right here. And that these are the character designs that I came up with for this animation. All right. And so um, a little jack-o'-lantern, a very pleasant, happy jack-o'-lantern, and a bag of candy. All right. <clears throat> now, we're not going to see these characters from many angles. Basically, I just want to have them kind of hop in, cross like this, and go out. Boom, boom, boom. And maybe have some, like, text comes in here, like, gimme yo candy or something like that. Um, do, do something that's just kind of maybe kind of fun and maybe it uh, makes it a little bit more loopable, too. Um, so, anyway, um, that's what we're working on right here today. Uh, <clears throat> What I had mentioned in the other videos that didn't get recorded is that I'm making this uh, 24 frames long and I'm going to make it 12 frames uh, per second. Okay, so this should be two seconds long and I want this to eventually be something that I can put on Instagram, maybe make GIFs of it, stuff like that. And then I also want to make actual physical flip books uh, to actually be able to, you know, just know, uses flip books. And so that's what, that's why I'm kind of thinking this length. And that's why I'm thinking like 12 frames a second. 12 frames a second is actually pretty fast for a flip book too. They're, they're usually more around eight, but it's as, of course it's as fast as somebody wants to flip through it. And uh, they don't usually, you know, flip books, they don't want to zip right through it. So anyway, um, but we're going to think about it in terms of 12 frames a, uh, 12 frames a second because, again, like, was, like I said, we're going to use this for uh, you know, other areas out there besides just the flip book. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> so let's start off here. I do have all of the colors set up here. I'm going to start with the lines. And... I want to create the the actual timing of how the how the characters are going to jump through. Um, I imagine they're going to be about this size. That's why I scaled them to that size. And I imagine it's something like that. <clears throat> Go in there and we can smooth it out a little bit. parts down here. Let's do that. Let's do the same thing over here. Simplify, simplify. <clears throat> and really, you probably could just go in here and do this. Oof. Do that. 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 Rascal. And do it in here. That one's about right. Right there. <clears throat> Select this doodad and burr. Do that. Do this. That. And a little bit of that. This, that, and do a little bit of whatever. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So we're going to do fairly simple timing here. Um, just, you know, ball bounce, type of, type of, type 
<laughs> type of timing. Type. Style of timing. I think that's somewhere, I think somewhere between style and type. <clears throat> style of, of timing. So that means that you put a keyframe at the lows, put a keyframe at the highs, the peaks. Okay. Then you split the difference. All right, <clears throat> and you want more time in the air than you do on the ground. So what we end up doing is um, Okay, and honestly, I think we're probably gonna do, we'll do them fairly equal. I don't know if I like that. Boom. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Again, these three aren't, these two aren't even on here, nor is this. So what we're gonna see is coming quick in here, boing, boing. And so you have, you have a loft, do, you can do those there. I think that we're probably gonna do something like this too because they're, Want to have a real bouncy feel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's for each one of these. So for twenty-four, that's gonna be not <clears throat> not enough. So if I was just looking at this right here, engaging, you know, pretty much want um, a little bit more on this side of it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think that's gonna be a really slow bounce. How about we just go through and do these first <clears throat> and see what it looks like? Okay, so I we'll take this one here, F five to expand it down on length. <clears throat> and we're just going to do a oop. Add a <clears throat> rough layer. So the bag is going to be going first. Okay, and we're not gonna just we're just not we're not gonna throw a peg on this and just match the peg up. We're gonna go through and and draw it all out. So I'm gonna just do quick get a quick idea of what some of these objects would look like. Okay. Now where is that one? I actually think that maybe that is supposed to be center the mass over that. Well, I suppose it could be up here. It's that big.
don't like this. Because you want to be able to see the eye and the mouth almost the whole time. I don't think that's enough of a stretch right there. And that looks like poo. Huge scale difference.
Now I'm not going to do. <clears throat> so we want to do this one here. One, dum, dum, dum. I'm going to do this one right here. Next. Just so that we can get the whole pivot part here, because there's going to be like a rotation where this is going to move up to like here, right? Let's go to the reference layer, actually. Let's go here. And then from this will pivot to here, this will pivot to here, this will pivot to here, et cetera, right? So as the character goes up, they're rotating forward. And, and it's pivoting on somewhere up here. So if I were to, <clears throat> let's just keep this as maybe the idea of where the pivot is at. So then you'd have one here, right? Because that's lines up there. This one here would line up to here, 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 here. Okay, so that lines up there. This would line up here. This would line up here. This would line up here. That line up there. Does that make sense? No, it does not. So this is the axis through there. This is the axis through there. Okay, I'm seeing something a little better. So essentially these need to come out. Okay, I'll do here and there. And then this will be that way, this will be that way, and this goes that way, this goes that way. All right. <clears throat> I'm even thinking that maybe there could be a little squash up here. needed to be back here. Yeah, it's a huge scale problem.
And this will probably likely be a similar type of pose here. Let's turn off that reference and just see what it looks like so far. And turn on looping. Be kind of cool to have like little pieces of candy flying out as he's going along, <laughs> dropping candy in here. Woof, boom, boom. <clears throat> All right, well, cool. There's some cool things happening. There's, yeah, it's like, it's a little bit, it's real super rough, right? It's all right. The timing's working. It looks like, it looks like the right speed for the hop. I like it. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do one on top here, and we're gonna do, um, bag of candy. Rough. Okay. So now in this one, I wanna go through and yeah, basic things are working right. This time in this one, all I wanna do is focus on getting the, um, maybe getting the, the volume of the bag right. So let's just work on that. And you know what? 
I might just throw a bag of candy, have bag of candy follow along. Just so we can have an idea. Scale wise, not perspective, because perspective is all janky, which is why you can't do this in the first place. <clears throat> why you can't just go and do all of these one shot. Cool. All right, so now Yeah, I kind of lined that up when um, just right over top of the other one. I think it's probably better now that the rough is on top. Do a little more tweaking. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow. Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to go through and get a little bit cleaner. Trying to come up with an idea of like drawing this, drawing over this, but not, but using the feeling. How am I going to explain this? 
using the feeling of the reference, of both types of reference, of the reference of the, or, or using the, the volume of the design, the model, and using the energy of the rough animation. So, okay, so one is we can see that this is kind of spinning up this way like that. Do a similar thing here. Similar with like there. Like that. That's cool. Cool. So now if I turn that off. And <clears throat> okay. Now this is the one that should be longer than usual. All right, so we're gonna extend it out further down this way, and it can be slightly thinner. Okay, so let's take it in, let's say 20%, right? I'm not gonna take it as high. So like that. I know it's kind of, it might be a little bit hard to see because of all these are being different color. Let me go through and maybe colorize the roughs here, the rough animation, so it's a little bit easier to see that the new line work on top of it. So let's do, that's green, the stem, bagel candy body. Purple. That might be good right there. Bag of candy body low. All right.
So maybe that'll help help at least be, not be so distracting. Okay, now this will be another long one. Now I imagine this is going to go longer up this direction. Let's turn the reference on so we can see the line. Oh, it doesn't line doesn't help. Line does not help. But anyway, we can see that the character will be springing springing off of the ground. be going a little bit it needs to be some kind of movement like that I don't think it means that the character springing like hugely off the ground Ugh, did I just use that word um, <clears throat> it's just a bit and let's bring the sides in a little bit too to just kind of make the volume Cool. And then, back here, let's look back here. Okay. Take this a little bit and add a little bit of a spring to the bottom, too. Yeah, that's cool. Now, this one will be fairly close to this shape, except. Um, just do a little bit of bending this way. So I'm going to pretty much almost straight this shape here. This will have something going on here like that, more so. Secondary animation with the with the um, <clears throat> I 
I can take and just maybe bend these a little bit this way. Now, <clears throat> the one thing I could do, I haven't done it in here. Uh, I was thinking like, do we see, should we see the bottom of the bag? But we're seeing inside the, the top of the bag and we can't, we're not so close to the, um, we're not so close to the bag that we can see the top and the bottom. And it's more important to see the candy in the bag than it is to see um, the bottom of the bag. So I was gonna say, huh, maybe we should be seeing the bottom of the bag and, and when it's on the ground, you know, it's there and then we're close enough that when it jumps up, it's above, but no, I actually think that we're, we're right on where we should be with this stuff. And this one likely will be just, um, Just a um, like a practically the, the model. Okay, so this is the, look, this is the one, so this is a little more bend than the last one, but it's not, and, and starting to, maybe starting to lengthen a little bit. And doing so and lengthening it needs to trim up. <clears throat> All right, so now this one's going to trim up a lot on the sides, probably like 20%. So then here. I want to say it goes longer.
And this is gonna be a duplicate. This will be a duplicate. Like this one technically could be a duplicate of the very first image or of the that one. And this one could be a duplicate of this one. So one, two, three, four. The last four could be duplicates or actually these two could be reused up here on these two. So I'd start maybe going through and doing this. So now, okay, so let's take a peek now. Let's turn the rough off. Let's turn the bag of candy off. <clears throat> and see what we have here. See if it's looking any better. I should <coughs> copy this. Let's put the rough on. Do 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 do. Dump. Paste. And we will move it down here. Copy, paste, do that. Okay, let's just watch it. Okay, so the volume's way better now. All right, I'm hoping that this will make it, give it a little bit of a lift. No, it didn't at all, or I, I'm not seeing it. <clears throat> what we can do is here, maybe do a boop, 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 see if that does anything. Too much pop just pops out like that. Way too much on this side, at least. That might be okay though, because I didn't notice on the other side, I just noticed that one side for sure. Still a bit of a pop. Try that. Real thin. Try that. I think that the the um I think these are coming up too fast. 
So let's do this. That looks, that might be better. Yep. Cool, we're getting there. Anyone made any kind of comments? No. It's too early for anyone to be up. All right, well, I'm gonna take a bit of a break and then come back at it and uh, do some more animation. So anyway, I hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, watching some of the process of how I go through and do the rough animation for this uh, hopping bag of candy. And uh, I think it's kind of, I think it's coming along okay. So uh, I think uh, in the next one, we'll get even better past the line work and start doing some cleanup on it and making it look a little bit better. And um, so that's coming up next. Uh, if you like the content, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, toodaloo. Oops. <laughs>